adding a user account. User accounts are a great way of controlling your staff as well as seeing performance metrics and reports. With an XE POS system, it has never been easier to create and control user accounts. From the back office, select Management, then User Management. Next, to add a new user, press the Add New User button located in the top right of the page. You will now be brought to the User Details screen. The first thing we need to do is give our user a first name. A surname can also be added, however is not required to create the account. In this example, we will use the name Steve. Next, we can assign the account type. Account type is a quick and easy way to give or remove permissions and restrictions to individuals or groups of users. As you can see, we give you four presets, all with varying levels of access and permissions. Admin does not have any restrictions and should only be given to the managers of a business. Driver can make use of any takeaway and delivery services, however does not have access to the sales page. Managers are similar to admins, with only a few permissions revoked. Staff accounts are great for giving to any normal employees and grants them access to all of the sales screens. For this exercise, we will simply use the staff account type. All account types are completely customizable and new account types can be created whenever they are needed. Users' locations is an easy way to enable and disable accounts on different TIL systems. Add any locations to your users' accounts and the account will then be able to be used on any assigned TIL systems. As we only have one location, we can simply activate that location. Next, we will need to give the account a username. This allows each user to have their own back office login. For this example, we will use the username Steve underscore zero one. We also need to create a four digit passcode. This passcode will be used for the user to log into the account on the front office. For security, the passcode should always be unique to the user you are creating the account for. This passcode can also be changed at any point. Because of this, we will create a default passcode of 1234 for now. You can also disable user passcodes individually using the front office fast login option. This will allow the user to instantly log into the account without the need of a passcode. This can be beneficial in high intensity environments. You will also see that there are several other features such as RFID tokens, back office password, image uploading, and time attendance. These all help both you and your staff members, from speeding up the login process to helping you with reports, however they are not essential. Once you have entered all the information you need, press the Save button located in either the top or bottom right of the page. Finally, return to the front office and use the Hard Reload button located in the settings wheel in the bottom right of the screen. Once reloaded, you will see your new user. Editing a user account. From the back office, select Management, then User Management from the expanded menu. Next, you will be able to see all of the users that are currently associated with your account. In order to edit a user, we can use the pencil icon to the right of the user's name. If we would like to delete our user, we can use the bin icon on the far right-hand side. We want to change our user passcode, so we will first click on the pencil icon, then locate the four digits passcode box and enter our new passcode. Once done, press the Save button, return to the front office, locate the settings wheel in the bottom right, and press Hard Reload. Any changes we have applied will now be active on our front office. Want to find out more about your XEPOS TIL system? Visit our channel for more guides. Thank you for watching.